Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana. ODM's candidate nominee for Mombasa gubernatorial seat and Mvita member of parliament made some remarks earlier today. Remarks I want us to have a look for they are going to form the basis of our analysis and discussion right now. Listen into this. Uh, Mimi ningeomba um, uh, kwa sababu uh, ndugu yangu sio kwamba inamfahamu sana. Mara ya mwisho nime hata nimesafiri na yeye. Muda wa takriban na uh, nadhani karibu mwezi mwezi mmoja unusu uliweza kupita. Uh, tulisafiri pamoja katika chombo cha usafiri. Um, lakini ameweza kuzungumza na akasema ya kwa yeye ametumwa hapa na Kalonzo. Sasa mimi ningemuomba Kalonzo badala ya kujaribu ku kuleta tetesi ndani ya azimio mimi ningemparai ya kwaje mwenyewe Kalonzo kusimama asitumie watu <laughs> aje mwenyewe Kalonzo hapa aje kusimama sio asitume watu kwa sababu um, ndugu yangu Sonko was very innocent katika kuzungumza na nimeona katika vyombo vya habari na kila pahali hajaniambia mimi mwenyewe lakini nimesikia mara kadha wa kadha anasema ya kwa yeye Uh, Sonko ndo alimwambia kwa hivyo kama yeye ni project ya, ya, ya Kalonzo ndo amemwambia kama yeye ni project ya Kalonzo na Kalonzo tunajua wazi he, he, this is a bigger issue hii yote ni vita kupigwa Raila Amolo Odinga na katika hali ya kupigwa Raila Amolo Odinga wanasema ya kwa sasa ni, ni, ni lazima sehemu zote ambazo kwamba kutakuwa na mambo haya tuhakikishe ya kwa we do our best Raila asipate zile kura zinazohitajika It is a, a cat and mouse. Na utakuja kuyaona. Kwa hivyo kwa mtazamo wako kalonzo ni mzigo kwa azimio. Sio mzigo kwa azimio, lakini mimi ningeomba ya kuwabadilia kutuma watu waje yeye kusimama. Mm. Si wenye kupiga kura ndio wataamua. Yes. In a layman's language, Mvita member of parliament is saying Kalonzo Musyoka is blackmailing Raila Molo Odinga. And in one way or the other, I might be tempted to agree with the member of parliament if you look at mike movie sonko sonko is a non william ruto sympathizer and even though he's in azimio i believe sonko's heart is still with william ruto and is just pretending to be in azimio maybe to be allowed to contest because if at all he had gone with william ruto government could have actually thwarted his candidature that's the reason why my movie sonko might have opted to join azimio and upon being allowed to contest i'm seeing my movie sonko being used with maybe william ruto even without the knowledge of kalonzo musyoka to thwart raila's presidential bid more so in mombasa and i'm saying that because Kalonzo's future in Azimio from the way Kalonzo has been behaving and reacting Kalonzo's future in Azimio is very uncertain is not known whether Kalonzo will actually stay in Azimio till the end or whether he'll just actually be rocking the boat from within so i'm seeing a high possibility when maybe if Kalonzo decides to rebel I'm seeing Mike Movie Sonko getting a very good opportunity to also rebel and do his bidding for William Ruto with the pretext that he is in Azimio. And also if you look in Mombasa the, the mere fact that Sonko is going for the Mombasa gubernatorial seat is also actually working to the advantage of William Ruto. Sonko I'm seeing Mike Movie Sonko splitting the Kamba vote or rather running away with the Kamba votes in Mombasa County and that is going to give the advantage to William Ruto's candidate in Mombasa so in in from that angle Sonko is just actually helping William Ruto realize his ambition in Mombasa County and I also strongly believe But by the time Kalonzo Musyoka assuming now he won't be the running mate Raila's running mate 
He has actually stated that most likely if he's not Raila's running mate, then Kalonzo is on record stating that if he's not Raila's running mate, then chances are high William Ruto might even win this year's presidency. Kalonzo is on record, or rather Kalonzo has been quoted saying something similar to that. So I'm seeing a Kalonzo Musioka who upon being denied that ticket will be doing some bidding behind the scenes, maybe on the ground, to thwart Raila's presidential bid. I'm seeing that high kind of a possibility. So in one way or the other, Kalonzo is also coming out as just a blackmailer. He's just thwarting Raila's chances of winning this year's presidential election. Yes. And then from another angle, Immediately, Kalonzo Musioka joined Raila Molo Odinga. Kalonzo started dismantling Raila's networks in Ukambani. At one point, he was antagonizing Charity Ngilu. Another point is antagonizing Alfred Mutua and also Makwini governor, Professor Kewuta Kibwana. That was Kalonzo's initial mission, immediately joined Azimio. And I honestly believe that if Kalonzo Musioka hmm, wanted some good for Raila Moro Odinga, then he ought to have not antagonized that original support Raila enjoyed in Ukambani. Kalonzo ought to have just added on top of Raila, that Raila support in Ukambani. But we are seeing a situation where Kalonzo Musioka is trying to dismantle all these Raila's networks in Ukambani. And if you look at that kind of disorganization or dismantling, I'm also seeing a situation where even the supporters of the likes of Charity Ngilu, maybe Alfred Mutua or even Professor, can also get annoyed and now not to vote for Raila Mul Odinga just because of the way Kalonzo Musioka is being allowed to treat their leaders. So in one way or the other, Kalonzo is just actually injuring Raila politically in Ukambani. Something that, in fact, before Kalonzo joined Raila Odinga, Raila was doing pretty well in Ukambani. Raila was making some serious inroads there, and his campaigns were actually peaking in Ukambani. Upon Kalonzo Musioka joining Raila Mulu Odinga, all that has flopped. In fact, Raila, if you are keenly following politics, Raila is almost on a spiral in fact, Raila is most definitely declining in Ukambani. Mm. Immediately, Kalonzo Musioka joined Raila Molodinga. Because Kalonzo has never done any serious campaigns for Raila Molodinga in Ukambani, he has just been issuing threats that if it's not me, then our people are not going to vote for Raila Molodinga. Yes, such kind of threats. So from where I sit, ladies and gentlemen, I fully and wholly agree with the member of parliament that Kalonzo Musioka might actually be blackmailing Raila Molo Odinga. I fully agree <laughs> with the member of parliament. And also before I conclude, just as I did state in our yesterday's analysis, I don't think this, this behavior by Kalonzo is actually helpful or beneficial to Azimio. I, I, I honestly believe that the battle line should be drawn. Kalonzo should be told that this is what we can offer. Take it or leave it. Yes. But now to just give Kalonzo that leeway to, <clears throat> to continue spewing such kind of hate, I think that's actually working against Raila Molo Odinga, not only in Okambani, but also nationally. It's time Kalonzo Musioka to actually either be told exactly that this is what we can offer, either you take it or you leave it. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, in case you've bumped here for the very first time and so far you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. And to our fans, our subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Any other person 
watching us outside Kenya for the very first time and so far you have not subscribed subscribe and also drop a comment and let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from yes god bless you god bless kenya tamu sana tamu sana tamu sana